Good evening and welcome to Caddo. It is a cold February night, but it's nice on the inside here, inside Caddo High School Gymnasium. And we have the regular season finale for the Caddo Lady Bruins as they host the Calera Lady Bulldogs. No one seems to want the tip after it's gone at center court. And we'll get the starting lineups to you here in just a moment. Welcome to the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. A doubleheader tonight between Calera and Caddo as the playoffs are just about to get underway. A three-pointer taken and drained by Carly Robinson. The junior puts the Lady Bruins on the board first. Playoffs again not that far away. And we're excited to get to bring you the finale of the regular season for the Lady Bruins. Calera with one more game to be played yet before the playoffs get underway. Caddo at home and on top by that three as the Lady Bruins get a takeaway. And Carly Robinson wearing number four, the pass head to number 10, a freshman Emily Robinson. The rest of the Caddo starting lineup looks like this. Number 24 is a uh, sophomore, Eddie Thomas. Number 25, a junior, Kennedy Morgan. And number 44, a junior, Kylie Anderson. And a little bit conspicuous in that starting lineup, or actually not in the starting lineup, as the starters that were given to me had number 33, Kenzie Dixon, the senior, the lone senior on this team, starting and She's actually on the bench next to Coach Colby Johnson right now. So interesting there that the senior decided to give up her spot. And I believe it was Kennedy Morgan who came in in her place. The Lady Bruins are number six in Class 2A with a record of 21-1. and one. Turnover for Calera. And the Lady Bruins will get it back, an opportunity to build on this 3-0 lead, the Lady Bulldogs starting lineup looks like this. A senior wearing number two, Leah Brown. Sophomore wearing number 23, Cassidy Mullins. A sophomore number 24, Keela Berryhill. A sophomore 32, Micah Carlton. And a senior 43, Kaya Daniel. And Morgan for three, count it, Kennedy Morgan. Making the most of her opportunity in that starting lineup. And Caddo is now on top by six. Daniel to give behind to Brown. And Daniel drains it from the free throw line. Made that one look easy. Lady Bulldogs are on the board now. Near steal by Brown. As a zone look and another three-pointer this time. Coming by the way of Kylie Anderson. And we have a timeout on the court. So back to back to back three-pointers. Anderson has the Lady Bruins on top by seven now. And let's start, let's start thanking our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. I do want to say thanks to Smith Feed and Grain, as well as Dane Joins Body Shop, Hausner's Storm Shelters, Sales and Trails Family History, and the sponsor for our first quarter tonight is Gallipot Pharmacy in Calera. Gallipot Pharmacy is located at 301 East Main Street. Josiah Schomer and his team can take care of your prescription needs. Stop by. It's an independent pharmacy located right here in hometown in Bryan County. He's been in business there for a little more than a year now. The store continues to grow, expand, evolve. And every time I stop by, there's someone there. Business is booming at Gallipot Pharmacy, and you need to stop by there, too. And by the way, when you go, please be sure and let Josiah know that Joey sent you, okay? This one's going to stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Two and a half minutes have gone by, and it hasn't been a fast-paced contest just yet. Inside pass to Carlton. She can't make the shot. Rebound kicked out. Brown now will drain it from the left baseline. Leah Brown with her first two tonight. Dixon still on the bench for Caddo right now. She was the homecoming queen. Homecoming ceremonies having taken place just a little bit earlier tonight. KWA Dare, the homecoming king, and of course, Kenzie Dixon, the queen, Thomas in the lane. 
That one's a little too strong, and the long rebound will go to Brown. Been a rough go for Calera, and count that basket. That's not so rough as Carlton will go to the line with an and one opportunity. But the Bulldogs, since the Bryan County Tournament, have had a streak of losses. And that losing streak up to six right now. Lady Bulldogs 6-15 and 15 on the year. Carlton doesn't get the and one. But the Lady Bulldogs are back to within three, tipped around, and finally it'll be Brown to come away with it. And Brown, left elbow, count the basket. Leah Brown with two more, and the Lady Bulldogs are back in this one. Robinson's posting up down low, and... Wow, that's going to stay with the Lady Bulldogs. It looked like Barry Hill was the last one to touch it and then go out of bounds and come back in. Interesting. Not going to be able to take the lead right there. Robinson stops, fouls, or excuse me, Brown with the foul. She'll go to the line to shoot two. Carly Robinson being a little more aggressive now. Her team was up by seven, now just one. First free throw attempt, no good. As subs come in now on senior night. Neither of these seniors, however. <laughs> A couple of freshmen. Robinson makes the second one. Harley Mullins and Peyton Lowry checking in now for the Lady Bruins. Midpoint here in the first quarter. Clara with an opportunity now to tie or take the lead. Barry Hill tries the wraparound pass and Morgan, the official says she kicked it, so it'll be an inbound on the right side for the Lady Bulldogs. Nice crowd here on a Thursday night. Playoffs get underway throughout the state of Oklahoma tomorrow in Class B and Class A. Lady Bulldogs keep it, and Barry Hill over to Daniel. No shot clock. He almost felt like it was running down as Barry Hill put back no good. Opportunities for the Lady Bulldogs. They can't capitalize. Robinson stops on a dime, and the teardrop falls. Carly Robinson. Zone pressure, and Coach Bobby Moore will go ahead and call the timeout. Ten seconds just about to be called on his Lady Bulldogs, and we go ahead and keep it right here. 12-8 is our score here. First quarter ticking away. Gallipot Pharmacy, the sponsor for our first quarter tonight. Located in Calera, and Josiah Schomer and his team. Proud sponsors of the Bryan County Patriot Spotlight Games. Been with us all season long. Thirty second timeout, and really all that was for Coach Moore was to make sure that his team didn't get the 10 second violation. Was headed for that. Playoff rackets have been released by the OSSAA in all classes now. Thomas with the near steal and means somebody's open as Anderson tips that one to the Caddo bench out of bounds. It will stay with Calera. And we'll just go ahead and tell you a little bit. The Caddo Lady Bruins will be at home next weekend for district play. They get the bye, hosting. And Brown's three off the back iron. Daniel will keep it with the Lady Bulldogs and another opportunity. It's Wilson and Rock Creek playing here on Friday night at 6.30, the girls game. And then Cattle will get the winner on Saturday at 6.30. That's February 22nd. Brown with the tip out of bounds. And... Kennedy Morgan will check back in now. Yeah. 
Also senior night here. And Robinson with the rebound and put back. Emily Robinson's first two. Back to a six-point advantage. Mullins coming in quickly. And we'll have a foul. Thomas a little too aggressive. Calera, meanwhile, it's a two-team district for the Lady Bulldogs, which means they will automatically advance to regional play. It's double elimination once you get to the finals of district in Class 2A. And Calera will head to Silo for district play. And it may have been last touched by the Lady Bruins, but I really thought Barry Hill was the one to touch it at the very end. Saturday, February 22nd, 6.30 p.m. at Silo. It's Calera and Silo for a district championship in area four, Leah Brown. She has seven now for Calera. And it's back to a three-point game. Robinson drives, and Emily Robinson with two more. The freshman starting to make her presence known here, as she often does. It's been a good year for Emily. Turnaround jumper for Carlton quickly. No good. Three on two. Robinson will keep it, though. Too strong. Pace picking up a little bit as the shots starting to fall for both teams. That one a little off the mark, though. And Robinson, the look ahead. Mullins, two points for Harley Mullins. She is now the fifth Lady Bruin to put points on the board here in the first quarter. A little bit less than a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Of course, following this contest, we do have the boys' contest coming up as well. All of the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight games have been on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel, and we encourage you to subscribe. MidwestSports.net, covering high school and college sports. And that one tipped as Lowry has come back in. She's going to keep it for the Bruins. Finds a cutter and a traveling violation called for Robinson. Tried to spin. Really didn't have that much room to come down, but probably the right call. Lady Bulldogs have done a pretty good job tonight of beating the full court pressure. Turn around, off the glass, too strong. Barry Hill won't fall. Carlton put back. And there have been opportunities for Calera here in the first quarter. Thomas off the glass and good. Emily Robinson with the assist. And Addie Thomas is on the board as well. Carlton, recipient of a slinging pass back to Brown. She's going to take it top of the key. And a foul with about 2.2 remaining. Stops play for just long enough for maybe a shot to get off here. Robinson will take it. Oh, that was close. And Lady Bruins have a nine-point advantage going into the second quarter. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Gallipot Pharmacy, our sponsor for the first quarter here. We'll take a break, and we'll be back in a moment with the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot.
This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Back here at Caddo, Lady Bruins on top by nine. I want to say thanks to all of our sponsors for to helping us to bring you tonight's Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game, including Gallipot Pharmacy, Dane Joins Body Shop, Hausner Storm Shelters, Sales and Trails Family History, and Smith Feed and Grain. Right here in Caddo, located 103 North Main Street. They have all kinds of of things to take care of your needs throughout the entire year. Still with feed, have bag feed, bulk feed, both four-way and bulk feed Caddo cubes as well. Carlton with the block and Robinson under the basket. She'll go to the line to shoot too. By the way, they also provide Pro Energy Liquid Cattle Feed. That's right, right here in Calera. They're your source for that, so... Stop by and check that out there just past the four-way stop at Highway 22 and Armstrong Road. It is 103 North Main. And, hey, listen, the sun came out today for a little while. I know. Who would have thought that was going to happen? Line violation for Emily Robinson. She doesn't get the second free throw, and it's going to be a turnover any way around. But like I was saying, the sun came out. I mean, spring could be here, maybe, sometime soon. Well, when that's the case, Smith Feed and Grain has your needs for your lawn and garden care. Garden seeds, fertilizer, pesticide, and more. You need to stop by and check them out. Clayton Smith there at Smith Feed and Grain, 103 North Main, right here in Caddo. The steal and no basket. Robinson put back, and that one barely falls. Emily Robinson starting to assert her will on this game. 23-11 is the score. The last time that we had an opportunity to see this Caddo Lady Bruins team play, count the basket, there's an and one opportunity, and Emily Robinson is all of a sudden fired up. The freshman making some noise here on senior night. Our last Bryan County Patriots spotlight doubleheader was in silo last Friday, just six days ago. Count the basket, the end one, and Robinson now has 10. It was a 49-48 victory for Caddo over silo. 48 all, and with zeros on the clock, there was a foul. Kenzie Dixon went to the free throw line. Great steal by Robinson, lost control of it. Emily Robinson is fouled, and she'll go to the line to shoot two. It came down to a free throw by Dixon. She had two to make one. She made the first one, 49-48. Put this one in the books, and Caddo evened the season series with Silo. Both teams are in area four, and there would be a possibility for these two teams to meet again, Caddo and Silo. If both were playing for an area championship, that game would be in Weatherford 22 days from today if that were the case. Second free throw is made for Robinson. And the defense really has stepped it up here in the second quarter. Not sure what Coach Johnson said to the Lady Bruins, but they've come alive here. Foul by Thomas. Seven points on the board, all by way of number 10 for the Lady Bruins, but it's been a team effort. Harley Mullins checking back in now. We mentioned in the first quarter the Lady Bulldogs had opportunities. There were shots in the paint, shots on the blocks. Kind of had the feeling a few may have been rushed just a little bit, trying to get that shot away. But there were opportunities, and it looks like Anderson touched that one last. It's going to stay with the Lady Bulldogs. Not seeing those same opportunities here within the first two minutes of the second quarter. Oh. 
Moore, left corner, three. Leah, excuse me, Brown, Leah Brown now with 10 points. A pair of three-pointers to her credit. That's the first basket for Calera here in the second quarter. They needed that. Cutter is Morgan. Carlton with the block. Carlton tips it and keeps it with the Lady Bulldogs. And Kennedy Morgan with the foul. A little bit of a frustration foul there for the junior. She'll take a seat as Addie Thomas will check back in. Junior for junior there. And also substitutes now for the Lady Bulldogs. Bree Buck, a freshman, just threw the ball in, checking in, as well as Brittany Cooper, another freshman. And Cooper turns it over. Defense is sinking away from the three-point line, and Anderson, wow, that's exactly the point. Anderson makes the Lady Bulldog defense pay there, backing up and giving opportunity outside the arc. For Caddo now, four three-pointers on the night. That's the first here in the second quarter. Anderson, six points, all coming from outside the arc. Robinson, another steal, and the save will result in a tie ball. Carly Robinson with six points. Daniel will check back in, give Carlton a breather on the block. Kaya Daniel, one of two seniors on this Lady Bulldogs team. She passes to the other one. Brown back to Daniel off the glass. Nice look inside. Kaya Daniel now with four points. And that one was tipped back in off of Calera Leg, but pinballed back off of Robison. So Robinson checks back out as Kennedy Morgan comes in for Caddo. Meanwhile, Cassidy Mullins back in the game for Calera. Anderson playing a little bit too tightly on Daniel, and Daniel posting up, stepped up away from the block a bit. Found an opportunity and an opening there. Both teams now with five team fouls. And for Kylie Anderson, that's just her first. Daniel alone. Go ahead and give Anderson her second with barely a tick coming off the clock. And that was a nice move by Daniel to get open in the lane. And a bit of a breakdown for the Caddo's defense. On a personal note, I've always been a proponent of of a zone defense on an inbound play into the basket like that, but all three Caddo players had their backs turned. Daniel doesn't make them pay, though. Rebound, though, by Cooper, and it will stay with the Lady Bulldogs a little bit longer. Caddo still with a 14-point advantage. Midpoint here in the second quarter. And you really have to give the credit to the Caddo defense become much more aggressive. And even though Anderson has picked up a couple of fouls really quickly, that's just indicative of the solid defense. And there she knocks that one away. A little too strong for Mullins. Daniel stepping in the passing lane. Brown, who's been effective from long range, 
That one misses the mark, but Kaya Daniel is there with the rebound and the putback. You, know, you think about this on from the perspective of the playoffs right now, as this is the regular season finale, and Daniel with the block. The regular season finale now for Caddo. And Daniel will get another opportunity. This one, however, won't fall. Cooper tries it. And finally, Robinson. Two on two. And that will draw the whistle. Caddo will not play again now for nine days. So it's an opportunity, really, for Coach Johnson to talk things over with his team, work on a lot of individual things. Both teams now with six fouls. Miss Brown will check out. For Calera, it's not the regular season finale. That will take place on Tuesday as the Lady Bulldogs host Lone Grove, a 3A school coming over from Carter County. Calera will then get four days off before facing Silo in the district final. By the way, we've talked about uh, four of the Class B or Class 2A schools here in Bryan County. Rock Creek and Wilson on Friday. Winner of that gets Caddo. Silo and Calera on Saturday. And don't forget about Colbert. As that one, will it be counted as three? Looks like it is. Kennedy Morgan from long range. And Kennedy Morgan with a steal. Stops. We were talking about Colbert. Colbert will take on Tushka as Cato will go to the line. And that is on Friday, one week from tomorrow. That game will take place in Allen. This is an area three. Three, and the winner of that game will get the Allen Mu Lady Mustangs. First free throw is good for Robinson. Her first point here in the second quarter. Second one good as well. Daniel with the pull-up jumper. Nobody on her, and wow, Kaya Daniel. That is a pretty shot from about 12 feet. Mid-range jumper looking good. Thomas says, I'll go from about twice that far. It won't fall. Morgan with a steal. It's going to stay with the Lady Bruins. Four on one. Ahead to Robinson. She's fouled. Shot doesn't go off the glass. And the rebound. Turn around. Put back. Way too strong. Less than a minute remaining here in the first quarter. Anderson checks back in as Robinson will take a seat now. Coach Johnson encouraging his team there. Hey, we, that's not the time for a foul. Brown passes inside. And, wow, as Daniel collects herself, hits the ball back, took maybe an extra dribble there. She gets the basket. It's a 14-point game. And talked about the Lady Bulldogs with opportunities in the first quarter. Time running down here. Brown, that one was tipped. It will stay with Clara. There have been many, many close-range opportunities for Caddo here in the second quarter. Lots of points being left on the court. 
Morgan with the board, but she'll be content to take this one into the intermission. It is a 14-point game. The Lady Bruins are on top here by two touchdowns. It is the regular season finale. We're going to take a break. do want to say thank you to all of our sponsors tonight, uh, as well as uh, Gallipot Pharmacy, Dane Joins Body Shop, Hausner Storm Shelters, Sales and Trails Family History, and our sponsor for the second quarter, Smith Feed and Grain, right here in Caddo. Back in a moment on the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today.
back here in Caddo for the Bryan County Patriots spotlight game. Halftime is over here, and the Lady Bruins are on top by 14. Coach Bobby Moore, wondering what he said to his team at the half. One of the things that the Lady Bruins did during the second quarter in which they opened up a little bit more of an advantage and count that one, another three-pointer from Kylie Anderson. And, well, it's been her night from long range. She has a three-point basket now in each of the first three quarters, nine points on the night. Daniel has it ripped away, and that really is what the Lady Bruins did. Turned up the intensity level in the second quarter, and coast-to-coast coast, Carly Robinson, she has 10 tonight. That has been really in, indicative of the play of the Lady Bruins after the first quarter. Thomas tipping it away. Here comes Cato on defense again. Transition. Morgan looks ahead. Robinson, the pump fake. Robinson to the basket won't fall. Actually, she fell to the court. She's fine. Lineup on the court now for the Lady Bruins is Robinson, Anderson, Robinson, Thomas, and Morgan. And the lone senior on this Cattle Lady Bruins team has been on the bench tonight. Robinson with the book back. She has an end one opportunity coming her way. 14 points to her credit so far. And Kenzie Dixon, the homecoming queen tonight for Caddo. One more point for Emily Robinson. And after looking back, Dixon has had at least two of our plays of the game that we highlight the next day on Facebook. So at least to this point, Looks like she won't be involved in that. It's going to have to be somebody else. Robinson, good job on defense on Carlton. And now ahead of the pack, finds Morgan off the glass and good. Anderson to Robinson to Morgan. And the Caddo Lady Bruins are going to force a timeout here from Coach Bobby Moore's team. 46-22. Tonight's Bryan County Patriots games are, sp are sponsored by Smith Feed and Grain, Gallipot Pharmacy, Hausner's Storm Shelters, Sales and Trails Family History, and our third quarter sponsor, Dale Joins Body Shop. Dale Joins, a proud supporter of Caddo High School Athletics. And that was just all around team effort for the Lady Bruins. Robinson there, got ahead of the pack. Anderson found her. She got it back and looked down and found Morgan underneath. It's good spacing by the Lady Bruins as well. Here comes some nominal full court man-to-man -man pressure. And we have a foul as Thomas runs over Barry Hill. Officials said Barry Hill was set. So for Addie Thomas, who looks like she's feeling the effects of that contact, she has her third foul as well. Carlton is there, got the extra dribble, takes it to the basket. Micah Carlton now with four points on the night and a nice move. Good job, the court awareness as well too, knowing she needed one more dribble and she takes it strong to the basket. A little contact between Carlton and Robison. Looking for that loose ball. And I think the sophomore would like this one back. Another opportunity. Morgan there on defense to not allow Brown to break away for the opening on the cutter.
Thomas as well. And again, it's the intensity on defense for Caddo that really has stepped up since the start of the second quarter. Robinson stops, nice jumper, and Caddo has doubled up Calera here. Carly Robinson with 12 points tonight. Seems like it's been about 50. Man-to-man -man defense has extended now for Caddo. Robinson gets the block. Lady Bruins with numbers. Robinson can't make the basket. Second opportunity, no, but she'll go to the line. And Cooper picks up the foul. And you see that more often than not. That one might have gone either way. Looks at You look at Robinson playing really aggressive and forcing the issue there. But it was the player on offense being aggressive and going strong to the basket. You're going to see that foul called more often than a player stopping possibly there on the block and falling away with that shot. Two more points for Carly Robinson, the junior with 14. Emily Robinson with 15 on the night. And Kylie Anderson just outside double figures has nine. Mullins just going to stay with that and stay with it a little bit longer. Harley Mullins, freshman making a case for some court time. Nice look down low. Cassidy Mullins trying to make something happen, and Anderson simply ripped it away from her. And coast to coast, Emily Robinson now with 17. Robinson, there's a freshman that's made – a case for court time all season long. Mullins to Carlton, off the glass and good. Nice look from Cassidy Mullins. Micah Carlton now with six. Emily Robinson for three. And Morgan chases it down and keeps it with Caddo back to Robinson. Off the glass, no. Now we talked a little earlier about playoffs starting tomorrow in Class A and in Class B. The right elbow jumper, no good. Class B girls basketball in Area 4, three county schools including Boswell taking on Thackerville tomorrow night at 6.30 in Thackerville. The winner of that game will get Caney on Saturday. It's victory life against Stringtown at Stringtown. That's tomorrow night at 6.30. Winner of that game will get Sasakwa. And also from Bryan County, Ashley against Eagletown tomorrow. This is all girls games. Winner gets Batiste. These games are taking place at Batiste. Everyone suited up tonight is going to get some playing time for the Lady Bruins. Callie Burns, another freshman, has checked in as well. That's a nice job on defense there. Carlton didn't get the easy opportunity she wanted. Lady Bruins doubling up on Calera yet again. Robinson for three, no. Burns underneath and keeps it. Timeout as Coach Colby Johnson is going to go ahead and take that, make sure the ball stays with Caddo in this possession. Our third quarter sponsor is Dane Joins, who is a proud supporter of Caddo High School Athletics. Class B girls basketball, we mentioned Boswell, Victory Life, and Ashley. Class A playoffs start tomorrow night as well. And from Bryan County, representing the area of Bennington. Now the girls will get the bye. Will not be playing tomorrow night. It's Fort Towson 
and Smithville. That game at Smithville, 6.30 tip time tomorrow night. Bennington will get the winner on Saturday night. One other bracket, by the way, that has come out. It's Class 5A. We haven't talked about 5A, and that is the Durant Lady Lions. 5A girls. Regional getting underway on February 27th. That is a Thursday. It's an 8 o'clock tip time. Count the three-pointer for Caddo's Peyton Lowry. And the freshman gets that one in from long range. Durant at Carlton, Carl Albert, excuse me, at Carl Albert two weeks from tonight. Steele as Lowry, effective on defense on the other end. Thomas gets it. Thomas off the glass. Lowry with the steal and Addie Thomas with two. So we now know all of the first round matchups for the county schools. Misplayed on the inbound. It's a night where something like that really doesn't matter that much. Thomas for three. No good. Lowry there again. Five points for the freshman. And how about another freshman? The steal off the glass. Thomas the put back. Not going to happen. We have a foul away from the play. Sophomore Josie Burns now checking in for Robinson. And less than a minute remaining here in this third quarter, and it really has been all Lady Bruins from the second quarter on. Caddo number six in the state at 21 and one. Another takeaway for the Lady Bruins, who have won five straight, last loss coming to Silo, only loss of the season. Really right now, just cruising to victory here at home, senior night. With less than 20 seconds remaining. See what the final point total is going to be as there are eight minutes remaining. Daniel shots too strong. And Cooper has an opportunity now. Near steal. Brown at the buzzer. No. Third quarter comes to an end, and the Lady Bruins extend the lead. Thanks to our sponsor here for the third quarter, Dane Joins, his body shop. Dane Joins, a proud sponsor of Caddo High School Athletics. We'll be back in a moment with the final quarter here on the Bryan County Patriots Spotlight Game. This is Midwest Sports Saturday. Good morning. I'm Joey McWilliams. <laughs> I'm impressed with what you got going on, Joey. Because it's hot. Oh my goodness, it's hot. This is, for my money, the biggest matchup of the day. I'm going to have lots of fun today. Back here at the Caddo High School Gymnasium. It is Caddo now 59, Calera 26. It's senior night. And the senior for Caddo, really the only person that's not been a big part of this game so far for the Lady Bruins, Kinsey Dixon. And I just want to recognize her as being the lone senior on this team. Homecoming queen tonight as well. 
want to say thanks to all of our sponsors for tonight's broadcast. Sales and Trails Family History, as well as Hausner's, our fourth quarter sponsor tonight. Gallipot Pharmacy, Smith Feed and Grain, and Dane Joins Body Shop. Pass ahead to Mullins, no good there for the rebound, and the putback is Lowry, and she has another two. Give her seven tonight, and the Lady Bruins have crossed the 60-point plateau. By the way, Hausner's Storm Shelters, located at 8883 Highway 70, west of Durant. Hausner's manufactures and distributes precast concrete storm shelters, septic tanks, as Daniel gets two more. Other plumbing and sewer system supplies, it's Hausner's. They supply to Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas, and Arkansas. Underneath, Morgan for two. Nice look from Kelly Burns. Kennedy Morgan has two more tonight. And at this point, it, it really does look like it's a matter of what is that final point total going to be. Lady Bruins put up 81 against 4,000 earlier this year. And 79 at Savannah. Anderson's had a three-pointer in the first quarter, the second quarter, and the third and maybe she was just too close there. She needs another long range shot. <coughs> Brown for three. So the Lady Bruins, we look at their path now. What will happen for them? Possibilities in the playoffs. Caddo again will face the winner of Wilson and Rock Creek one week from Saturday, nine days from now. And that would be District 5. If Caddo wins, would play the winner from District 8. And the top seed from that back bracket is Oklahoma Christian Academy. A win there for the Lady Bruins. If that were the case, as Daniel lets a defender go down or go by, and Kaya Daniel gets two more points, she has 14 now. A win there would mean a possible matchup with a winner from either District 6 or District 7. And the teams with the buys there are Stratford and Navajo. And those are some potential matchups for Caddo. Again, assuming that the Lady Bruins stay in the winner's bracket and seeds hold true to form. Daniel with 14 points tonight, but that one's stolen. Nice jumper at the left elbow by Mullins. Long rebound. She'll get it back and put it back up. We have to look at the other top 10 team in Bryan County and take a look at the possibilities in district play and beyond. Well, Silo will host district again a week from Saturday. This first free throw does roll in for Holly Mullins. A win there would mean a likely matchup with Frederick, the top seed in District 3. And, well, it sounded like it was <laughs> pretty rough there for Josie Burns. If Silo were to get a win in the first round of regionals, then should seeds hold true to form, the regional championship would be a matchup with either Cashin or Hollis to get to the area championship through the winner's bracket. Lowry with the block. Passes ahead. Mullins off the glass. No good. And the Lady Bulldogs are going to take it the other direction. 
Well, that got the crowd excited. Peyton Lowry, the freshman with seven points tonight and a nice block. Three-pointer too strong. So the Lady Bulldogs will get an opportunity at the line here. First free throw. No good for Bree Buck. As J.C. Manhard checks in now. And we'll give Casty Mullins a breather. The Lady Bulldogs kept it tight for a while. Book's free throw goes. She has a point tonight. Stopped a mini scoring drought for the Lady Bulldogs as well. Calera in it in the early going. Second quarter is when the Lady Bruins, Bruins really stepped it up. Gracie Phillips has also checked in for Caddo now. Phillips, a freshman. Future matchups between these two teams. Might see all of these players on the court. Mullins, spin move. Mullins off the glass and count it. Harley Mullins with two more. Nice job by Mullins to stop and simply turn that one around. Phillips with the steal. Looking ahead, Harley Mullins off the glass. Freshman to freshman. Two more points for the Lady Bruins. Those are the kind of plays that Coach Johnson really has to be excited about from the future or for the future, not from the future. We're not having time traveling here tonight, at least not that I know of. Kaya Daniel with two more. And the Calera senior has 16 tonight. Nice look inside. Josie Burns now with a basket. Eight Caddo Bruins have put points on the board. I don't think there will be a season high tonight, but now I say that, and Mullins with another steal. And Mullins stepped on the sideline. Credit her for being aggressive, though. The skip pass and Phillips <laughs> went over the back. Daniel with another board. Nice job under the basket and Cooper will go to the line to shoot too. So credit Barry Hill for being in place. And with 71 ticks left on the clock, Caddo looking to go to 22 and 1 on the year. Lone lost the Bryan County Tournament Championship game to Silo. And it's just been a solid season for Coach Colby Johnson's group. Cooper with the free throw, and she's on the board tonight. And you have to wonder what this team can do now. You get a break or two. Phillips, not there. Put back is going to send Caddo to the line as Callie Burns will go to attempt two. One of the things about the playoffs is that you just have to get there. Now, the good thing about the state of Oklahoma when it comes to that particular statement is that everyone makes the playoffs. All teams make the playoffs, and it's single elimination in the district semifinals for classes B through 4A. Double elimination once you make it into the finals, and Callie Burns becomes the ninth Cattle Bruin to score tonight. But you just have to get there. Anything can happen from that point. 
teams that have had good seasons like the Lady Bruins just need to be consistent. Don't look ahead. One game at a time. It stays with Caddo. And plays solid. High three-pointer, a little bit, little bit off the target there. And the Lady Bulldogs will get one more opportunity. Caddo moves to 22-1 and one on the season. Clara will fall to 6-16. Six and 16. As we have a foul. It looks like it should result in a one-and-one one opportunity for Calera. And it will. Freddie Cooper will go to the line for that one-and-one one opportunity. I want to say thanks to our sponsors tonight. Thanks to Hausner Storm Shelters. Thanks to Sales and Trails Family History. To Dane Joins Body Shop. Dane Joins, a proud sponsor of Caddo High School Athletic. First free throw is good for Cooper. To Smith and Feed, Clayton Smith. They can take care of your lawn and garden needs as spring comes around. Second free throw good, but also don't forget, still have feed. Bag feed, bulk feed, Pro Energy Liquid Cattle Feed. That is at Smith Feed and Grain and also Gallipot Pharmacy. Josiah Schumer and the folks at Gallipot Pharmacy. The Caddo Bruins up with a 2-1 to one ratio most of the night. It's going to come up just a little bit short of that. Caddo ultimately wins 71-36. I want to say thanks again to our sponsors and to my sometimes and somewhat silent partner, Jay LeQuinn. I'm Joey McWilliams. Thanks for watching this Bryan County Patriots Spotlight game. Next game to follow here on the MidwestSports.net YouTube channel.